Year 7 and welcome to our end of half term awards assembly. Um, as I always say, one of my favourite assemblies to do um, because it's about celebrating the success of you as a year group and it's really important to do that and to, to look back and reflect on what you've achieved throughout the half term. So a little bit different to me standing in front of you like I normally do at the end of that half term before we all break up and get excited to have some time at home because um, obviously we've been at home for a while now and it's been nine weeks since I've saw all of you in your smiley faces. So myself and the Year 7 team are really missing you um, but it's lovely to see you all engaged in the virtual school and working hard so keep that up please Year 7. Uh, just a quick reflection really, you can see the four um, different statements on the outside of this slide uh, which have come from our Year 7 um, motto really um, and we've looked at each one of these each week in our assemblies um, and I believe that majority of you in the year group have been showing these things throughout your virtual lessons. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic to see. So you working as a team group and motivating each other to keep working hard and, and saying well done when people have done some fantastic work. Never giving up, that's really important and that resilience has definitely shown for a lot of you working at home. Even when you've had a bad day, sometimes a call from Mrs Lodes Vincent or Mr Pure has really motivated you to get back online and try your best and keep going. Um, so well done that's been lovely to hear um, also working hard that's all you can do at the moment is try your best and keep working hard uh, and that's something that we had a really big focus on um, so keep that up a little bit of a quiz for you there's actually six statements on our uh, year seven poster by the office uh, so we've got two more that we still need to focus on next half term um, could anyone guess what they are uh, if you can, please drop it into the Year 7 teams uh, and the, the first five responses back will get 100 points each. Um, so that's a little bit of a quiz for you to do when you do uh, get off this assembly before you break up for the half term. So first thing I want to ask yourself, have you challenged yourself enough this half term? Now, I always say, obviously, these assemblies, it's really hard to only pick a few people for the award. It's only one per subject. So it is always a hard decision. But regardless of whether you win an award or not today, I want you to ask yourself the question there. Have you challenged yourself? And if so, how have you challenged yourself? So did you take part in the Super 7 challenges that I set a couple of weeks ago? Um, some of you did, and I saw that. I saw lots of tweets and lots of people tagging me in their work to show how proud they were of the work they'd done. I've seen lots of you logging on every day and attending all those lessons on time. I've also seen lots of you doing things in your own time, like baking, taking part in some physical activity. And all those things were part of our Super 7 challenges. So well done to you. If you didn't complete them or you, they're still ongoing, please continue to do that because it will really keep yourself motivated whilst at home. The second one I've put on there, have you started or completed your Odyssey journey? Haven't seen any of these yet. I did only set that last week. So hopefully that's something that you are doing and you're reflecting on that journey since you started in year seven and picking out all those key things, those key points and those things that you've done really well and you're proud of. And I want you to try and recall those and remember them because it's really important to try and stay positive. And if you do complete your journey, please take a photo of it send it to myself via email or drop it into the year seven teams um or you can obviously put it on twitter if you are on twitter and then at the bottom there just two questions have you attended all the virtual lessons and attempted the work and i've put the word attempted there because at times it can be hard to work without that teacher support in front of you um but all we can ask you to do is have a go and if the answer to that is no or the answer is maybe then that's something that you could work on next half term in that final half term before we finish for the six weeks holiday in the summer and then have you taken some time to learn a new skill or maybe develop those skills that you've already got? And hopefully the answer is yes. But if not, that's something I want you to think about to try and make sure you continue to challenge yourself or you start to challenge yourself a little bit further. So just something to think about really, how and why are you pushing yourself? So what is the reason why you challenge yourself? Is it because you want to be the best in that particular lesson? what is the reason why and that reason why is something that will keep you going and i want to talk to you a little bit about a journey that i went on on wednesday so the first picture there you can see on the left is me going out um on my daily run so i don't always go running every day but when i get time to i do or i've been going on daily walks and that picture there is actually towards the end of my run and i actually turned back and took a picture 
and as you can see it's quite a long road and I don't think you can really see in the picture but it's actually quite a little bit uphill so it was hard for me so I ran down that hill about 20 minutes before and it was great breeze in my face lovely views ahead of me clear blue skies and I felt really good because my time was going how I wanted it to and I felt refreshed and motivated at this point when I stopped to take the photo was actually because I was really exhausted and I thought I can't be bothered to carry on but intrinsically I had to motivate myself there's no one with me so I was on my own and I had to make sure I had that motivation inside me and that self-motivation determination to push and continue to get to the top of the hill and obviously to make my way home and um, so I started thinking about the why and thinking why am I doing it I'm obviously doing it for my own physical fitness so to keep those fitness levels up and I know a lot of the benefits of physical activity which I spoke to you about before um, and also I wanted to achieve my personal best I wanted to get a better time than the time that I'd done it before so I knew I had to carry on and I had to drive myself to the top and that's exactly what I did and then when I got to the top this is the view that I saw so and it made me stand there and reflect and, and realize how lucky we are to be outside in the outdoors especially in this beautiful weather um, and when I got to the top I looked across the fields and I was really proud of what I've achieved and I didn't quite get my personal best time but I was very close to it and that's just made me more determined to keep going and to do it again and hopefully that's something that all of you will do whether it's in physical activity whether it's when you're learning a new skill at home or whether it's in your lessons in the virtual school and, and when you're back in school and you're in those lessons I want to think about why you're doing things and I want you to push yourself that little bit harder even if there's obstacles along the way you need to keep going so as always we're really proud of you in the year 17 and all the fantastic work that's going on and twitter is a great place um, to see some of that work being displayed and shared on social media um, so here's some of the highlights from from this week um, so Mr Berry's 7B2 class was working really, really hard and he was pleased with your engagement in lessons. Laura there, some fantastic work as always with some of her creative writing and some beautiful presentation. Libby, some fantastic science work and definitely working hard in all of your lessons. So well done to you, Libby. Angelina doing some work at home, doing some creative writing um, whilst at home and writing her own book, which is lovely to see. Bo there with some fantastic work from the Happiness Hour and as always, beautiful presented. Mrs P uh, House was really proud of her 7DT class who were looking at that resilience and independent work, so well done to you. Um, some fantastic work there from Oliver who's been taking part in the Reading Street which was set by Miss Cine and there's been lots of you involved in that, so well done to you all who's taken part in that Reading Challenge. And again, another person there, Harry, doing exactly the same, taking part in that reading streak and continuing that daily reading to take a bit of time to himself. And then just to finish there before we move on, some pictures of our students who've been involved in the Year 7 Ambassador Group. Um, and you've probably seen these on Twitter. Um, obviously, if you're not on Twitter, obviously, these are some of the pictures that have been sent out to our New Year 6s to prepare them and to see some smiley faces ready for when they join us. And obviously, because I'm not seeing you at the moment, it is lovely to see you all um, at home in your school uniforms um, and sending those messages to our Year 6. So well done to all the students who are involved in that. Uh, year seven ambassador team to celebrate this half term is the students who've got the most Aldersley points so a massive shout out and well done to Laura at the top there with 6,700 points that's absolutely amazing lots of your teachers have obviously recognised your hard work and given you lots of points as a reward Jasper Eat in second place followed by Tiani, Oliver, Sam T, Hadia, Hussein, Halima, Libby and Safa at the bottom there in the top 10 so those are the top 10 students out of 210 so that's an absolutely fantastic achievement to be in the top 10 so well done to all of you and if your name's not on there please challenge yourself to try and get on there for our final half term awards assembly in the summer at the end of the summer term um, it was interesting when I looked at the last awards assembly that we did last half term 
before the Easter break and there was lots of different names on there so it is good to see that a lot of you have been challenging yourself to get into that top 10 and then also a big well done to some team efforts so from your form point of view we've got 7s 7y and 7r who are in the top 10 across the school um so well done to you um all obviously 7s are at the top for year 7 with 41,575 so well done to you if you're in 7s and then the rest of the forms please try and get on board and get as many points as possible for your form group so you are on here in the next awards assembly that then moves me on to our first award so the enrichment award obviously when we're back in school we look at your attendance for your breakfast clubs and your period sevens and see who's been challenging themselves to take part in the enrichment activities obviously that's not been taking part in school because we're not in school at the moment however it has been great to see lots of you doing things in your own time and making sure you are doing things outside of the virtual school so the person that we have awarded for this award this half term goes to Harry, well done to you. Fantastic. It's been lovely to see you doing lots of things at home and keeping yourself busy and active. So well done to you, Harry. Moving on to the subject award. So as I mentioned earlier, obviously it's only one student per award this half term. Um, and that's obviously from all the work you've been doing in the virtual school whilst at home. Um, so it's been nice to see some different faces and some different names appearing um, for the awards this half term. But I know your teachers have had a really hard job um, in choosing just one person. So an extra uh, special well done to you all if you have won the awards today and for the rest of you let's try and, and challenge yourself next half term with our first award which is English so the English department have, have all sat down together virtually over zoom and they have all decided that the student from year seven they want to award this half term is Tiani so well done to you Tiani you have got the English award this half term the maths award so the maths team feel that the award this half term is going to Thomas, well done to you, Thomas. I have definitely seen you working hard in those virtual maths lessons and across the board. So thoroughly deserved there, Thomas. Moving on to the science award. So the science award this half term goes to Mitchell. Well done, Mitchell. Been working really hard in the virtual school. Well done. French award this half term goes to Violet. Well done to you, Violet. The French team feel you've been working extra hard at home for your French work. Spanish award. Well done to Chloe. Fantastic. It's lovely to see you winning an award for your hard work in Spanish. History goes to Libé, some brilliant work that's been produced in your history lesson. So well done to you, Libé. And the Geography Award this half term goes to Libby again. So well done, Libby, working really hard in those humanities lessons and your hard work has been noticed by both teams there. So well done to you, Libby. And the Art Award this half term goes to Janai. Well done, Janai. She's been working really hard in the virtual schools. It's been fantastic to see. Well done. And then moving on to our Performing Arts. So we've got the Dance Award first. And a big well done to Tiani. So your second award of the Assembly today. Well done. Been working really hard from home. And then moving on to our Drama Award. So a big well done goes to Oliver. Well done, Oliver. Miss Lynch was really impressed with your work that you've been doing this half term. Keep it up. And Music Award. 
this half term goes to Amber. Well done to you, Amber. Design Technology Award. This half term has gone to Angelina. Well done, Angelina. I've been great to see you doing um, lots of work at home in your own time, and that has been noticed um, by Mr. Edwards and the team. Hospitality and Catering. The award goes to Bo. So well done to you all in those cooking lessons because it's been great to see lots of you tweeting your work and add it into the teams of all the fantastic work you've been doing independently. And obviously, Bo, you have been recognised for your efforts at home um, by Miss Belor and her team. And the Forest School Awards this half term from Mr Grimshaw and Miss Foster goes to... Oliver, well done to you, Oliver. I've been working really hard in those forest scores lessons. The PE award this half term goes to Preche. Well done. Miss Foster and Mrs Hardwick have been really impressed with your engagement online. Um, so you thoroughly deserve this award from the PE team. Computer science. So Mrs. Kirk has decided to award Sonam with her award at this half term. Well done to you. And finally, our wellbeing award from Mrs. Evans is going to Zach. Well done to you, Zach, for all your engagement in your wellbeing sessions and in all the happiness hour uh, sessions that have been happening across the school. Well done. So your house leaders have had the difficult task of choosing someone from their house and the students that they have decided to award this half term. From Ruby, we have Summer. From Emerald, we've got Libby, Sapphire have uh, nominated Safa, and Opal have nominated Oliver. So it's been great to see lots of you getting involved in the challenges that your heads of house have been setting you. Um, and please continue to do so. And your heads of houses are also seeing how hard you're working in your lessons. And that is helping them choose their students they feel deserve the end of half term award. So well done to those four students. And then moving on to our last lot of awards is for our Year 7 team awards. And this is always a hard one for myself and the Year 7 team and the senior team to choose because there's so many of you we want to award. Um, so before we do announce these awards, well done to everyone who's been in the virtual school, been in lessons, working hard and trying their best and doing all that they can because it has been noticed. Um, so well done. Keep it up. Awards that we're going to give out are the School Values Awards. So you'll get your certificate and then you can collect your badge when we do return to school. So the first one is going to Tristan, who's got our Be Prepared Award. Myself, Mrs. Lodes Vincent and Mr. Pugh have been really impressed with your efforts in the virtual school. Be Respectful is going to Adia, who's been working amazingly in the virtual school and taking part in lots of the challenges that we have been setting you. So well done, always respectful and, and really polite to all of her peers. And then the B challenge is going to Patrick. We've been really, really impressed with your engagement online and you've been really pushing yourself and trying hard. So that hasn't gone unnoticed. So well done to you, Patrick. OK, overall progress. So we haven't actually looked at academic progress. Obviously, we've been looking at the work ethic and the work that's being produced, but we haven't actually tested you this half term to choose that students who made the most academic progress. Instead, we've looked at a student who we feel has made progress overall um, virtually has been engaging really really well and has been working really hard and we feel that you've made a lot of progress this half term in in your lessons and your engagement in the virtual school so a well done to river well done river ran we've been really impressed with you uh, keep it up um, and can't wait to see you when you are back at school and, and see that progress continuing 
And then the Head of Year Award, uh, this has been voted by Mrs Lodes Vincent and Mr Pugh. Uh, they both managed to agree on one student in the end. I know there was lots of students who they put forward for nominations, um, but then obviously had to narrow it down and agree on one student. Um, so it has, was a tough decision for both of them because they have really um, enjoyed working with you all in the virtual school year seven um, and obviously a message from them is to make sure you keep up that hard work and, and keep looking after yourself at home and trying to engage with the year group as much as possible uh, but the individual who they've chosen this half term is Zach and they feel that you've worked really hard even though you've been challenged at times and found things a little bit difficult you've managed to still work hard and continue to try your best which is all that they can ask of you so well done to you Zach and then my student of the half term again as I've already said today, it is always really hard to decide who to choose um, and there's lots of people I could have chose. However, I've gone with a student who has really impressed me with um, her work ethic in lessons. Her, she's always respectful and always polite, which is great to see. She gets involved with the activities going on in the Year 7 teams and tries to engage. She's also been part of the Year 7 Ambassador Group um, and has always completed all the challenges and completed them to a good standard as well. Um, so overall, this student has really impressed me this half term. Um, so my ASL award this half term is going to... Emmy, well done to you, Emmy. Keep up the good work, working really hard from the virtual school. And then the principal award, so Mrs Davis, um, always struggles to choose one student um, but this half term has felt that this student has gone above and beyond and really deserves to get that final award in our assembly today um, so she's been really impressed with your work the maker of work you've been producing and the quality of that work that's been produced um, and generally just an all good um, amazing year seven student so the principal award from mrs davis is going to Laura, well done to you, Laura. Your per award will be out to you in the um, via email soon. So, before we do finish our assembly today, um, I have got two messages for you actually, um, and I'm sure you're going to be excited to see this member of staff because it is your head of year. So, Mrs. Lowes Vincent has got a special message that she wants to give to you all, um, and then we have also got a second message after that as well. Um, so, I won't say too much, uh, I'm just going to let you listen to Mrs. Lowes Vincent, um, and then I'll speak to you in a second. Hi Year 7, it's Mrs Lowe's Vincent here. Uh, I hope you're all well and that you and your families are keeping safe. I miss you all so, 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 so much. Um, I've got a little bit of an announcement to make. Um, it's going to make me a little bit sad to say that I'm not going to be your head of year in September when you move into Year 8. Um, I am still going to be at school, I'm going to be the head of year of the new year sevens. Um, I just wanted to say that it's been really, really fantastic working with you all so far uh, during your time at Aldersley. I'm going to miss you all so, so much and I'm really sad about it actually. I know I'm going to love the year sevens loads but you know that I, I really enjoy working with you guys so it's really bittersweet for me to be saying goodbye to you as your head of year but you will still see me at school and of course you can come and talk to me if you ever need to. Um, so thank you to all of you for being amazing and to your families as well and I know that I've formed some relationships with you guys and your parents as well that all that last throughout your time at Aldersley so thank you to you and obviously I'll still be in school. Okay, bye! Hi everyone, my name is Mr Pugh, I'm a new head of year at Aldersley High School and my video about what I miss about school is going to be a little bit different to everyone else's because most of you haven't even met me yet. So I am very much looking forward to getting back into school and meeting you all face to face. But I am very inspired by how hard you've all been working on Teams and Seneca during a time such as this where it's very difficult for everyone. Even with that said though, what I miss most about being in school and being in a school environment is basically just talking to kids and finding out about their interests. 
when you get to know me, you'll realise that I can talk about literally any subject for any amount of time. Sport, games, films, whatever it is that you're interested in. I just love finding out about what you like and what you don't like. And I'm really looking forward to building up a stronger relationship as I can with all the students and all the teachers at the school. And I'm really excited to get started. I hope that you're all keeping safe and doing the best that you can to try and see light at the end of the tunnel. I've got no doubt we're back in school when the time is safe to do so. And I look forward to meeting you all. For the time being, stay safe and take care. Okay, so I'm sure there's a lots of you who are probably very, very upset that Mrs. Lowe's Vincent is not going to be your head of year um, from September. However, as she did say, she will still be working in school and I know that she'll still be working with lots of you closely. Um, however... Um, you have do have a new head of year, Mr Pugh, who lots of you have spoke to already on the phone and you've seen him on Teams and him been engaging. And obviously his little message there at the end, uh, which some of you may have seen on Twitter, about how excited he is to join us at Aldersley. And I know all of you will make him feel really welcome. You already have virtually, but obviously when he does meet you in person. Um, Mrs. Lois Vincent obviously has done so much for you all, and I know you'll all be thanking her for all her efforts as your head of year this year. And we still do have another half term with Mrs. Lois Vincent um, supporting you with Mr. Pugh, but she will be doing a bit of work with the new Year 7s when they join us. So we just thought... The time is right to let you know now and then obviously to for you to start making sure you impress Mr Pugh as your new head of year. Um, you'll be excited to know that I will still be your ASL as you go into year eight. So I'm still going to be working with you really closely, which I'm really happy about. Um, so hopefully that's some good news for you all. Uh, before we do leave you, um, please make sure you have a lovely half term. Take lots of rest. Um, stay away from your computer screens, obviously, unless you need to to be on there for different things. Try and do some things with your, your family um, and try and get out as much as possible and do some things physical activity and take part in the May half term challenges they are being put on teams I want to see lots of you taking part in those and please make sure you get your Aldersley journey done you can do it very similar to myself by putting some pictures on um, if you would like to and that um, and I'll look forward to seeing that so have a lovely half term year seven stay safe and remember to stay positive